hi guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna talk about exploring the mind and so why is it important um, because it shows the close relationship of the mind and the power of healing so I'm using this uh, to become part of my healing process my healing journey so previously i have mentioned i have presented to you with all the data all the other facts of my autoimmune condition and i have talked about um, how i felt uh, physically from fatigue to losing strength and how biologically from rapid heartbeats to dangerously low red blood count uh, but i have never talked about mentally or emotionally and if you have asked anyone who have been diagnosed with autoimmune disease they will tell you that they've been through hell and back and just because um, the physically or biologically and mentally suffering were real and they don't get the relief until they get the right diagnosis. so at that point they are raising so many doctors so many specialists and that's when they starting to thinking of autoimmune disease so they will get tested they will get biopsy and finally they'll get the right diagnose and they get the treatment and they get the relief that's most of the time how it happened so for me um, no different than any autoimmune disease patient um, but I was a little bit lucky that I took a little bit less time to get the right diagnose so under three months I think it's considered uh, a very short time of the, the right diagnose and for autoimmune disease patients it could take up to a year or years if not and during that time um, you are really really suffering and so your mind starting to race uh, like a thousand miles per second because you don't know what's going on with your body but your body every day is suffering as the condition is getting worse and every single test comes back to you and telling you that you're okay that um, there's negative there's no finding and every single test will tell you the same but you know you're not okay and so that make your that make you think that you are going to die and that's how i was thinking at that point that i was gonna die and so i asked myself that question if i'm ready to die today or now and interestingly my answer was yes and no so yes i have lived my life to the fullest uh, under my term and uh, no because i do have uh, a young child at the time and who still needs me and she was eight years old at the time and i also have a 80 years old uh, mother that i'm living with her and for me at that point um i was i was got i got taken off from all the treatment and i just uh, quickly switch over to celery juicing that's 16 ounce and so hoping that it would um, it would do the work it would do the it would be magically um, uh, doing make things happen make things better so every single day after I drink I expect the change I expect the change will happen and so um, I took about a week after I started to noticing um, actually it um, it seems working so i um, wasn't sure whether it's the placebo effect or if cesare juice was really uh, working so uh, previously i have um, uh, presented to you with all the cesare juice that i have done and so i concluded yes um, it works uh, somewhat working but not completely gone and i'm still not completely treated I still do get the flare up once in a while depending um, how depending many many factors uh, what food that I eat or uh, lack of sleep and you know stress level and all that stuff so um, back in 2018 so before all this happened 
uh, my life was very I had a very very busy life and I just left um, a business career um, my career uh, a career of 19 years I left that behind a career that provided me with security and comfort and I left that behind I started a new career a brand new one and um, I became a massage therapist um, a massage therapist and I was running a massage uh, therapist a therapy clinic at the same time the clinic was just opening up and as well as I was full-time in school and I wanted to become a manual osteopath therapist so I was in the program full-time doing my schoolwork and in my mind I, I didn't think that uh, it's gonna add on stress because I have done it before it was in 2014 I was working full-time and I was doing full-time school and I was taking care of my daughter at the time she was in kindergarten and so it's a lot more things for me to to care for back then than than at this point now back in 2018 so I didn't think the stress putting on my body was paramount and exactly one year before that it was 2017 uh, that's when my brother had passed and um, even though he died from a natural cause uh, but he has suffered skin condition many skin conditions in his life and all of a sudden um, I just wanted to to blame him for my condition um, thinking that uh, I might get the same skin disease um, thinking that uh, he just gave it to me or for some reason and my mind starting to go um, that's what I meant like your mind will, will run um, a thousand miles per second this is what happened I started to think that it runs in the family and even uh, I thought that uh, we're cursed uh, somebody put a curse on our family and so that uh, we all get the skin conditions and we all suffer from that and so um, I keep on doing research and upon researching I found many many recent studies that uh, stating that guts health it's closely related to all health and so so that just opened up another um, another uh, wonder because my mind was like okay um, if this food's gonna make me flare up and sugar is sugar is gonna be inflamed like inflammatory uh, substance it's gonna make my body uh, get develop a lot of blisters and I started to wonder if this the, the seafood is gonna do, make it worse or what what's going on right so I started to generalize my diet and I started to um, to pay more closely attention to what I eat and but even that um, I I felt at that point I just felt completely lost control of my life and because I I have there was one question I have asked my dermatologist um, that you know if I'm treated now one day I am treated um, but would this come back to haunt me uh, later on in my life? And she said it's very possible because you have the flare up now, and when you get older, um, you gonna your body or or when you get weak, so your body your immune system will will be weakened, and so they it will be very easy to trigger that and it will come back, and so. I was always living in a fear and um, because I, I I don't know when it's gonna come back or how um, what's gonna you know what's gonna trigger it and then like the, the flight up comes back again so I was constantly like stressed out about it and knowing not know a lot of stuff um, that I don't have control over that and I was just very very stressful I was just very stressed out 
of what I heard from my dermatologist, like how she said to me. And it was very devastating. So, and because um, I don't want to live in that fear, I don't want to leave, live in that survival uh, mode. And so I started to do more of a research. And so I was very lucky that my very last class of my osteopath therapy, um, one of my instructors um, told us about this author, that which is Gabor Mate. And he had written the book called When the Body Says, Says No. And he, my instructor, um, introduced this book to us and wanted us to read about it because part of the osteopath therapy we are treating the body as one unit. And so the Gabor Mate, his work is your body and mind and spirit uh, in the same unit. So when you, it, as a whole. So when you're treating your health, your own health, you need to go into your mind because that's where it holds the key. So, um, so after I read the book and I follow his. Um, I follow his method or his, uh, um, he his technique, and um, I started to go back to um, to my childhood. So he had done a lot of work um, for trauma. So he talks about about he talks a lot about traumas, um, how trauma affects our our physical health and bi biological health, and so he he openly talks about his life and how he was traumas when he was a kid so i went back to my childhood and i never thought i have a childhood trauma because i always think that my childhood was perfect um, because i was always happy and i never once thought it was it was uh, there was traumas uh, involved in my childhood until I read the book and t until I did um, some work of his work, that's when I realized it. So now I'm moving into because that is part of my healing process and that will be opening up a whole different area. Um, it is painful to go back to your childhood and realize that, but I have to deal with that in order for me to move on uh, on to my healing journey so next time i'm gonna talk about trauma and how a childhood trauma can affect um, many many disease so especially cancer disease uh, cancer and autoimmune disease so i will i will talk about it uh, next time so this time thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye now.